Hello, my name is Mick Pearce and I'm the Training and Development Manager for Upanor Housing Solutions here in Lutterworth in Leicestershire. Uh, thanks for taking the time to have a look at our DVD and today what we're actually going to be looking at is our new Upanor control system uh, which is used for controlling underfloor heating systems. It's a wireless system so it needs no wires to connect the thermostats back to the controller and it consists of three main components which I'll now show you. We've got an interface here which is normally located centrally and all the major settings are then done from the interface. We've got a thermostat which is located in the room that wants to be controlled and that's push button control and we've also got a controller. As I said a moment ago the, the system is wireless so it's very very easy to install because there's no wiring required between the thermostats and the main control unit. It works on very high radio frequencies and that should eliminate interference. It also has got a holiday settings function so when you go off on your holidays you can set your heating system so that it just ticks over whilst you're away on holiday. It's also got an eco settings function which actually means it's, that's a setback function. So in other words in periods when either you're not in the house or you're sleeping where you may not want the temperatures that you would want during the daytime you can program the system to run at lower temperatures during those time periods. One interface can actually control up to three controllers and that's 36 heating zones and 42 actuators which actually control the water going through the underfloor heating. Now that gives you the flexibility because effectively it's a modular system so you can now actually extend the system if you build an extension on your property and that's very very easy to do so. It's push button navigation so you just drive through a menu as you would with a video recorder or a TV remote. It's also got alarms on it which actually show different alarm stages such as if the batteries want replacing in the thermostats, if the radio signal is not strong enough, in other words if the thermostat is located too far away from the receiver. The interface itself can see all of the thermostats around the property so you can see exactly what's happening in different rooms from the one central location. It will also show the battery status and the radio status and you can also set the time and date settings at the interface. It will also set from here the minimum and maximum settings that you want any thermostat to run at at any particular time. By using the interface you can actually allocate different room names for the different thermostats you've got located around your property and there's a full list of different names that you can actually program into the interface. It also means that it's adaptable for growth and if you build an extension on your property then you obviously depend on what that extension is you can then give it the name that you want as you're extending the building. Um, the interface itself is backlit so it's very easy to see if it's in dimly lit areas. It also displays the actuator status and the radio status coming back from the thermostats. The interface can be located between 2 and 20 meters away from the controller and it can work with up to three controllers. We're now going to look at the controller itself. Remember that the system is wireless, so there's no wiring between the thermostats and the controller. But the wiring that is put into the system all goes back to this controller itself. And the actuators which control the flow of water around the underfloor circuits are wired back to here, as are the pump circuits and the boiler circuits, and also the main supply coming into it. And you can see there's a red LED on there which shows that there's mains power going into the unit. Now I'm now going to take the lid off, you can actually see what's inside the unit. As well as the power light there, there's a number of LEDs which show the status of any of the zones. So when your installer is actually programming the thermostats and installing the system, he can check that everything's working properly. Um, you've also got a number of language options available, so if you're installing it in different parts of Europe, then you can program it in the language that's applicable at that particular time. The system can tr control up to 12 zones and 14 actuators and remember the interface itself can actually work with three controllers so you've got quite a lot of flexibility there. 
the antenna here can be actually located as it is there or outside of the unit and you've got a number of positions where you can actually install that. So remember the installation costs are very low with this system because the wiring is all central to this particular controller. The thermostats themselves display the current room temperature and if you adjust that temperature up and down it shows you what you've actually adjusted and also it's got a radio signal indication that it's actually sent that change back to the controller. Um, the bulb on here me measures both radiant and convective heat and it communicates with the controller every three hours if it is inactive and if the controller hasn't had a message from each thermostat within a three hour period it comes up with an alarm because it assumes that there's a fault with the thermostat. The temperature range for the thermostat runs from 5 degrees up to 35 degrees and can be programmed for both Fahrenheit and centigrade settings. It's also got a low battery indicator within it as well. The thermostat displays a number of alarm functions and you've also got a choice of mounting locations. As you can see here it's mounted on a wall but you've also got a bracket on the back so it can be freestanding if you wish to do so. Uh, the thermostat uses AAA batteries uh, which are readily available from anywhere so it's easy to change when you do get a battery failure. Uh, these current thermostats are in, are in white and they're also available in silver. This latest system you've been looking at is part of Upanor's uh, strive to harmonise and improve their controls and we'll be bringing out some additional controls later on this year. It's ease of use is a benefit to the installer and the customer and aesthetically it looks good and the fast and simple installation will reduce installation costs. On the subject of costs, some of the programs you've got in there, the eco settings etc and the holiday settings will maximise savings from a running point of view. It's a premium system and comes with the technical backup that you would expect from the largest underfloor heating manufacturer and supplier in the UK. If you'd like more information, it's available in the form of literature from our offices in Lutterworth or more information is available through our website. Thank you.